I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this episode is called Social Media Marketing for Home-Based Business with Ray Higdon on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Success Conference and Thrive Coach. I wish to let you know that there are patterns to help you receive more. Help you live a better and extraordinary life right now. I also believe that there are spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in the everyday life. So if you come with me, I will show you these patterns. Get ready. Let's go. We'll be back to, to you learn the kernels about social media marketing. But first, a word from one of our sponsors. Hey, everybody, Jimmy here. I want to talk to you about something that can save you money on your health insurance bills. It's not insurance. It's impact health sharing. Let me tell you something. This is a solution for the health care crisis that I've been waiting for. It's not insurance. It's not socialized medicine, thank goodness. It's the best thing that's come down the pike. For more information about Impact Health Sharing, contact an ACN distributor near you. God bless you. And there we go. Come on, Noel. Okay, guys, here we go. Without any further ado... Make sure everything is placed in order. Don't like any distractions while I'm... But here we go with Ray Higdon. I'll first share how I learned the hard way of what not to do on social media. Then I'm going to share a simple acronym that allowed me to start generating over 3,000 leads a month. Then I'm going to share with you a pro tip specifically for Facebook. So when I first started promoting on Facebook... I did everything wrong. Here's something not a lot of people know, but my first Facebook account was actually shut down. I was so terrible. I was just posting links and I'm just hoping someone sees it and joins my team. And I just didn't understand marketing. I didn't understand how to attract people to me. Didn't understand like really how do you promote? And so all I was doing is I was posting the name of the company, I was posting my link, and this is stuff that no one's interested in. It's just not how social media works. This is not this is not a flea market. You know, people aren't just shopping profiles. No one wakes up and says, Martha, I think I'm gonna go on Facebook today and, and buy something. No, they go to social media to be social. Right? To learn things, to have fun, to laugh, to be entertained, or possibly educated. And so I did everything wrong. And this is what I see so many people do as well. So the switch for me, which took me from social media spammer to an actual marketer and promoter, was I started going about things totally different. I embraced an acronym that I call ILT. Now, I've since been teaching this for over 10 years now, but ILT stands for Invest, Learn, Teach. Invest your time, possibly money, to learn something, then you teach it. So once I got this and I understood that it actually attracted people versus repelled them, because I'd basically been doing repellent marketing, just just like, like... scattering people away from me because they didn't want to see my sales links and they didn't want to see my my spammy pitch. I started thinking about who is it that I actually want to attract. And for me specifically, and this doesn't have to be the answer for you, but I wanted people who were familiar with business. I actually wanted to recruit more business owners. I wanted to attract people who were either, you know, commissioned salespeople or business owners. And so I would go through a business book, take my notes, So I invested my time, possibly money if I bought the book, right? So I invested my time to learn something from the book. Then I would take my notes and teach from those notes. And it was so simple because I would actually go on camera and hold my notes and say, yes, I just got done reading this book and I got this point and this and this and this and here's one thing you want to consider. All I did was convert what I had been learning 
into online content on Facebook. That is what started generating me a lot of leads. Specifically, I started generating over 3,000 leads a month without ads. 3,000 leads a month with ads is, is pretty darn good and expensive. This was without ads. And so I just started sharing. I started sharing more education. Now, you may ask yourself, okay, well, that attracted people to you, but you know, how how did that work for sales? Well, I would connect with the people that I had attracted to me and I would just ask them simple questions. Hey, have you ever considered making extra money on social media? And so I would ask them those kind of questions, see if they were open. Then I would follow the system. I would follow the process of getting them in front of a presentation and that presentation would do the selling for me and they either liked it or, or they didn't. And that's what helped me become the number one income earner in that network marketing company. And so ILT is your friend. If you're serious about you know growing your network marketing business, you're probably studying. You're probably attending webinars or you're purchasing courses or maybe even have a coach. Well, take the things that you're learning and just share those things. Share those things in a manner that will attract more people to you. Let me share with you an extreme example of ILT and how awesome it can be. So I did a training just like this on ILT quite a few years ago. And one of the students was a lady named Sherry Bullock. And Sherry really took this to heart. Now, she was a part of a weight loss company, a weight loss slash uh, workout company in network marketing. And she decided, you know what? I'm gonna start ILT. And so she did. She started creating content that was educational around losing weight. And this landed her on the Rachel Ray show. And she sent me this clip of her on the Rachel Ray show. And she's like, thanks Ray. I followed your training and they found my blog and I was on the Rachel Ray show. You just don't know what will happen when you start educating more, when you start putting more value into the marketplace, you have no idea what that looks like. You know, one of the books that I ILT'd is a, uh, a book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. And it's a great, great book. It's The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Highly recommend it. And I read this book and it's a little, little tiny book and it was, it was awesome. And so all I did was I took notes from it and I shared those notes online. Steven's agent reached out to me and said, Steven loves your content, loves you, that you shared about the book. We'd love to send you some, some books for free. And I said, well, I, I appreciate that. That's, that's awesome, but I'd love to interview him. So I actually ended up interviewing a major author just because I was willing to share my notes. That's the power of ILT. It won't only just attract to you people that you want to talk to about your business or, or your product, but can also get you much, much more. Okay, before I get into the pro Facebook tip that is really gonna help you out, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to share this channel and subscribe. We create a lot of content on this channel to help you, the network marketer, create more success through social media and create more duplication in your team. So feel free to share and also make sure that you subscribe. Okay, so now my pro Facebook tip. You need to get more engagement on what it is that you're posting on Facebook. However, you're probably doing it all wrong. Most people, when they post to Facebook, to their timeline, to their newsfeed, they either A, don't post, post very often, so they just post like once a week or twice a week or something like that, or they do the exact opposite, and they post like all day long. The breakfast burrito was fantastic. Going to see Missy for lunch. Uh, tonight I'm doing, right. And so here's the thing. You need to understand a little bit about the algorithm of Facebook. First of all, the big overarching thing that you need to understand is that the more friends you have actually can negatively impact your engagement on Facebook. Because what Facebook actually does is it looks at your number of friends and what percentage of them are commenting on your stuff. And so if you have maxed out 5,000 friends, but you're only getting a few people to comment on your stuff every day, Facebook thinks you suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the truth. And so for you to improve that, number one, limit the number of times that you're posting to the newsfeed. You should only post to your newsfeed once, maybe twice a day. Now, stories are different. Stories are like, what do you post on your refrigerator? And that's a really good analogy because who sees what you post on your refrigerator? Friends, family members, 
people that like you, people that already know you. Strangers aren't seeing your stories. So you can post all day long, every day, right? If you're going to the park, do the park, breakfast burrito, whatever, right? Post as much as you want to the, to the stories because that's not part of the algorithm. Only people that already know you, like you, follow you, etc., are going to ever see those things. No stranger, unless they slip and fall, are going to see your stories. On the news feed, that's very different because when you post something, and then you post again in a close proximity, they're actually competing against each other. And so you may have a post that would have gotten double or triple the likes, comments, etc. Now that's going to be cut in half. And so you want to be careful with that. Number two, you want to start cutting some of your friends. And the way, one way that I do... Okay, so we've heard from Ray. And I have to cut this off a little bit. Yes, a lot of network marketing... Or shall I say, home-based business franchising uh, marketing is on Facebook. But here's here's some rules that's given to me. Number one, you need to form a Facebook business page, and don't invite every Tom, Dick, and Harry to participate in that business page. Okay. You might say, well, 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 Jimmy, that's hard. No, it's not harsh. You know, you want people that know you, that understand you, that get you. You get people that are too close to you, that have known you, say, all your life, or most of your life, and they don't believe in you. They're not going to believe in your product or your service. I'm just being honest with you. So, Start you a Facebook business page. That's the thing I learned from a course and a seven-day challenge that I had with ACN, and that was a blessing. Number two, this, this, is, this is a good one here. Bring in an occasional hot tip about your product. With me, sometimes it's insurance. Sometimes it may be about cell phones. Who knows? But hot tips are hot tips. If if you know what I mean. And so, to that extent, number three, communicate through live Facebook sessions. And that's where you can put in um, ILT. Instructional, what I like to call instructional leadership training. You're training people about your product, but you're not, you know, spamming to sell your product. You you get my drift? Number four, manage your marketing through the human element. Now, I'm not saying this works all, all the time. Like, say, you sell cell phone service. The picture, the, the picture, and I don't know how you can do this, you know. Say you take a strange screenshot of you holding your cell phone. You put that on, on, on social media. The human element does good, but I think when it comes to uh, service-oriented businesses, it's not always as effective. Um... The fourth tip is to really um, gratitude. State who in your organization you are thankful for. And, and number five, number five, this is important. You need to, to, to write engaging questions. Even if it means an, an engaging reel and, and, and all this, those things can really bless your life what he said along with some of the things I've suggested is what's going to help you well I I promised that I would be going on for a little bit longer and I am um, so anxious to finish this but I think the Lord's are calling me to, to do this longer I'm glad he said not to put down just your name and your link. 
and using that in a spammy way to promote your product. I think that that is really, that's a wise choice. That's a wise choice. Because what you want to do, you want to educate people about your product. And I think, you know, even if you used to find, say, a marketing course on YouTube, which, to be honest with you, this summer I have considered doing that, studying a little, a little marketing to learn some things because I want to grow my business. I want you guys to think about this. If you engage people and promote ideas and ideals and possibly even other people's materials, chances are you may be surprised that those people may reach out to you. See, this is the first tactic I've heard. And I know some people say, you know, you can promote your business on TikTok. And I know there's some 50s generation people my age that watch it. But my problem is my mouth, my gift of gab, I like to elaborate too much. And that ain't going to do me too much good on on TikTok. I haven't been on in a while. So the fact of the matter is your marketing on social media. And I'm not saying just do it on Facebook. I think you should also do it on LinkedIn. But not in a spammy way. Do it in a way that is engaging. Right? You want to do that, you, you know you want to do that. You want people to see what you got and dangle enough carrot and stick. Maybe a little bit more carrot. And they want more. They want more. And next thing you know, you are marketing your business. You're top notch. You got this. You. I want you to learn what you can about promoting on, on, on social media. Now I'm not saying any one technique is right or wrong. Some of the ones from from a from the training I took at ACN were brilliant, were helpful. Did me a lot of good and, and I praise God for that. But I'm also grateful for what I've learned today. Because I think really marketing should also be a learning process. Especially if you're doing it on social media. Okay, so get, get ready for those things. Because if you want if you want to be that eagle in your mindset. And, and be that man there. Sometimes it's, it's being clever in your knowledge. And to be able to be thankful for the tools and knowledge that you do have. And then your star is rising. And when you get there, we, we join together in Pattern Realm. You get there. And your star is rising. And as your success, confidence, and thrive coach... I just want to let you know, I am on your side. I want to help you guys rise. Now with that, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, show this with Mama-san, Papa-san, and everyone. Choose, act, 
and pursue happiness. And God bless each and every single one of you. God bless you. I love you.